So, like I said, being silent, being silent, that could take you to a different world. Like, like when your ears start ringing, if you listen to your ear ringing and you just keep listening to it and keep paying attention to it, you will end up daydreaming into another world. See, I got to learn how to daydream super good. Once you do that, you'll be good. That can help you with your astral projection. Learn how to meditate. Learn how to make a cube bounce from different corners in your mind. From side to side, the cube just rotating. Put a put a uh, ping pong table in your mind and, and, and play ping pong in your mind. Make different shapes, circles, triangles. Make them float around. Keep, keep in track with them. That's how you really meditate. After you learn how to control this mind that your mind is like water, you could just get creative with it. So learn how to meditate. Make a circle with a green dot in it that bounce around, bounce around, or a cube, a Rubik's cube, even if you want. And make a Rubik's cube in your head. Because I'm trying to tell you, you go on, you could go to different worlds by meditating. And you, you bring in your consciousness with you. When you astral project, you lifting your consciousness out your body. Literally. You don't even have to do drugs like DMT. Like I told you, if you're in a religion, you can pray to the elders in that religion to to show you around. But y'all don't y'all Bible don't even say do that. If you do that, you're being demonic. If you open your third eye, you're being demonic. Well, y'all third eye be opening when y'all dreaming. I told you, your soul. See, y'all got a new brain, so y'all remember shit. But when, if y'all go open your third eye, you could connect your third eye to your soul and pull from your soul. You could pull all types of energies from your soul. You could pull energies from your soul and know about your past lives. You could pull energy from your soul and know about everything. You could know about something specific, like your favorite color in your past life. See, that's what's scary. Because once you start to get to the point, because some people get to the point where they could pull information from past lives and know that it's real. Because when they smell something, like a certain laundry detergent, and you smell that laundry detergent in your past life, So you know that it's real when you pull things, certain things, or you smell a certain flower, like a rose. Because in a, in a lot of your lives, you had that one experience where you smell the rose for the first time in your life. So you gotta understand how your soul works. Your soul is like, it'll carry on the taste of a banana to another life. Your third eye floats through this whole electronic consciousness. Your brain got electricity in it. I'm everything that I say is to help your subconscious. I hope y'all play the videos back to back to back and just leave the playlists on. Even if you got a PS4, play it on a PS4. If you got it on TV, if you got it on a phone just just put the playlist on that's all i'm saying because you're gonna have to keep hammering this to fill your subconscious up it's gonna fill your subconscious up real good because what it's gonna do is you don't even understand really everything that i'm saying but you're trying but some of the stuff is gonna go in the back of your mind into your subconscious because the words that's playing through the screen is going into your world so you you might not hear all of it right now, but you could go to sleep, wake up, and no matter this shit that I just taught you. Like I told you, I'm not a teacher. I'm an uh, angel. I'm reminding you what you know. <clears throat> I ain't make none of this up. This is all from the universe. There's a way to be in contact with the universe. Whoever's eating right, drinking the most water, they're in touch with the universe. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. So I'm just trying to bridge y'all on, help y'all out. 
there's things you could do. When you astro project, you can move at all different types. You could, it's like, you could move at all different types of speed. You can move at this. Once you, once you astro project and you move at the speed of light, you could go into a whole different world. That's what I'm saying. See, that's even a whole nother thing that people don't know about. Like, the, after you go to the speed of light, you're not here no more. You're not here no more. Same thing with the speed of sound. Sound, if you go faster than that, you can't hear nothing. You can hear. Like, sound waves just act different. You know what I'm saying? Like, you won't be hearing nothing behind you. The sound can't even catch up to you. So you got to understand how all these things work. Sounds is vibrations. Think about that. So if you go faster than those vibrations, you are now vibrating on a different frequency. See, there's spirits that's living in between that. You get it? There's beings that's living in between the speed of light. <laughs> Your mind can't even understand that. Y'all can't understand what the speed of light is because a car don't. A car goes a hundred. What the? F Some cars go three hundred. But that's not even compared because these type of things, the size of the universe, the speed of light. Y'all would y'all don't understand these things. They make they make fucking formulas to understand this shit and to be able to use these things. Like Tom, y'all don't understand what Tom is. Y'all think Tom is every day and every hour, every minute. No, Tom is not real because Tom is, nobody has the real, the same time really. Nobody. It's only that time on that certain longitude and latitude on that part of the earth. Nobody nobody in America got the same time as China. So time is really just an illusion. It's just to discover events. Time is not there. This universe always was here and it always will be here. So like if you you get it? Like, if you could live on different frequencies, see, this is, y'all living on this slow-ass frequency. This is a slow, dense-down frequency. Like, this frequency, you're able to see light. You get it? That's how slow light is moving. Light is moving slow here. That's what I'm saying. It's other frequencies where light is moving faster than the speed of light. And there is beings that live in between that. See, you, the place where you really live, you live in between silence. See, because you got all this noise out here in your regular world that you have no control over, which is chaos. And then when you close your eyes, that's peace. But you got to think about it. Before you even really close your eyes and get peace, you have to meditate to get to that point. So once you meditate till you get to that point where your mind is fully clear, that's you. That's you. Right there. When you meditate till your mind is clear, that's you. You are now looking at yourself. That is you. Silence, darkness, and blackness. But there's whole worlds in between that. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, there is... <clears throat> there's so many layers and layers and layers of worlds in between certain shit. Like, there's layers of worlds in between certain speeds of light. Like, there's other, other forms where... Like, because I told you, when you close your eyes... Yeah, you would get peace, but then you automatically, once you close your eyes, you automatically magnetizing all the vibrations from when you had your eyes open. 
forget how that works. So everything your eyes is ping-ponging off of right now, when you finally close your eyes, it's going to vibrate those things in the dark world because that's your dark world when you close your eyes. So once you, once you, once you realize that, that's when you'll be like, all right, this is how it works. It's just, it's really yin and yang. You look out, that's the white. You look in, that's the black. See how that work? And then you have the in-between. The in-between is that straight silence. That's in-between the magnetic thoughts that's coming in that you're picking up from the universe's vibrations. The magnetic, the magnetic thoughts that you're picking up from the universe. After you quiet those down, that's you. Because when you first close your eyes, that's the equivalent to this world. So you have to move the magnetic thoughts out the way to find yourself. 